So what do we do? Um, cosine of x over 2, that's the half angle. Remember that half angle, guys? So look it up if you have to. The sine of theta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of the angle over 2. Uh, I'll show you how to memorize the half angle for the sine and the cosine. If you memorize the cosine, if it's cosine, here's a little bit of a different marker. Angle over 2, it's going to change the sine to a plus right there. That's the only difference between the half angle for the cosine and the half angle for the sine. The angle divided by 2 is the half angle. Okay? That's why they call them half angles. Ding, ding. So, we're going to rewrite this. Sine of the angle is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine of the angle divided by 2. I'm going to move the cosine over 1 minus cosine of the angle because I don't want to take the square of both sides. Again, oh, it was my pen. I lost it. I'm going to square the left side, square the right side. If it's positive and you square it, it becomes positive. Plus or minus, so if it's negative or it's negative, and I square it becomes positive. So when I square the side, the plus or minus cancels away. It magically disappears. So you end up with, and the square, the square root, inverse operation, 1 minus cosine of the angle divided by 2. I'm going to pull this out really quickly. 1 minus 2 cosine of the angle plus cosine square root of theta. Don't forget, you got to pull this out. You just can't distribute the negative. It has two terms. I'm going to bust that fraction. I'm going to bust that fraction. Multiply the left side. There's one equal to two term. I'm going to multiply this by 2 as well. 2, 2, 2. Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Same thing. Notice the twos cancel. I bust that fraction. 1 minus cosine of theta is equal to 2 minus 4 cosine of theta plus 2 cosine squared of theta. I'm going to move that cosine of theta. I'm going to add cosine of theta. Oh, I'm sorry, to here. So you end up with 2 cosine squared of theta. I'm going to add cosine of theta. It's a linear term. Minus 3 cosine theta, excuse me, subtract 1, it's going to be plus 1 is equal to 0. I'm going to do the fourth step again. Step 1. Step 2. Notice that 2 cosine theta times cosine of theta is 2 cosine squared theta. Step 3. The signs the sign's positive, that means they're both going to be the same sign. This tells you they're going to be both minus. Step four, the factors of one is only one and one. So we're going to check our oil in our foil. Plus, minus two cosine, minus two cosine theta, minus cosine theta, minus three cosine theta. L, the last two factors, minus one times minus one is plus one. Check your oil in your foil. Now we have to zip it out, zero part of property. Cosine of theta, we should know that by now it's equal to 1 half. Cosine of theta is equal to 1. Because we said it equal to 0, move the 1 over divided by 2. And same as this. When is the angle equal to 1 half? By now, you should know the reference angle and all that stuff. I'm just going to figure it out for you. Theta is equal to 60. Is it in radians or degrees? It's in degrees. Ooh, I like degrees. Sometimes. Depends on my mood, I mean mode, mood, same thing. Uh, it's going to be 60 degrees and 300 degrees. Cosine theta, what angle of the cosine equals 1 at 0 degrees. And we're done. And we're good to go, right? Oh, you're going, yeah. Or some of you, most of you are going, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use orange this time. I didn't use orange. Notice, guys, I kept a very low profile on the squared. I put it in blue for you just to show you 
is variable size, we have to check for extraneous solutions. In fact, we can only check it at the original equation. So let's check it out. Sine of 60 divided by 2, that's the half angle, which is 30 degrees, plus the cosine of that angle, which is 60 degrees, does that equal 1? Sine 30, 1 half, plus cosine 60, 1 half. Checks out fine. Let's try 300. Sine of 300 over 2, I'm going to write it off here. That's the sine of 150, that's equal to cos of 1 half plus the cosine of 300, cosine 300 is also 1 half, equals 1, that checked out. Sine of 0 over 2 is 0, sine of 0 is 0, plus cosine of 0 degrees, that's equal to 1. This is equal, cosine of 0 is 1, 1 equals 1. All three checked out. Usually that's not the case, but in this case, all three did check it out, we're good to go. I'm just going to make sure on this. Uh, th uh, sine of 30 over, uh, 60 over 2 is 30, sine of 30 is 1 half, there it is right there. Cosine of 60 is 1 half, 1 half plus 1 is 1. 300, sine of 300 over 2, sine of 150. This is sine of 150, it's going to be uh, opposite, it's going to be negative 1, positive 1 half, there it is. Cosine 300 is positive. It's in the fourth quadrant. 1 half plus 1 half is 1. Very good. 0, sine of 0 over 2 is sine of 0, which is 0. This cosine 0 is 1. All three checked out. Just right. Okay, next. Uh, we're going to do some more problems. 34. It's taking longer than I thought. Sorry, guys. Um, 13 cotangent of theta plus 11 cosecant theta is equal to 6 sine of theta. Um, as in section 6.1, we went over this type of problem earlier. The cotangent and the cosecant uh, is kind of tricky. So remember, I said earlier in 6.1, change all of these. The Secant, cosecant, tangent, cotangent into sines and cosines. So I have 13 times cosine of theta over sine of theta plus 11 times 1 over sine of theta is equal to 6 sine of theta. We're going to bust that fraction. The common denominator is sine of theta. We're going to multiply the left side by sine of theta. Multiply the second term by the sine of theta. Multiply this by the sine of theta. I use short notation right there. Sine of theta. Notice that the sine of theta cancels. I get 13 cosine of theta plus the sine of theta cancels with this. 11 is equal to. I multiply that out. I get 6 sine squared of theta. Oh, we're back into our original equation. Sine squared here, I got a cosine, I got a problem. I'm going to change this to 1 minus cosine squared. So 13, I'm going to rewrite, I'm going to short write it. Cosine plus 11 is equal to 6 times 1 minus cosine squared. I distribute that out. 13 cosine plus 11 is equal to 6 minus 6 cosine squared. Now, I'm going to move the 6 cosine squared to the right side because it's quadratic in nature. Let me write it really neatly. 6 cosine squared of theta plus 13 cosine of theta minus 6 is going to be plus 5 is equal to 0. Is that factorable? Ooh. Uh, I'm, going to use a, I'm going to use a little program right here. Uh, I made this program up myself. You can find a lot of these programs, Google it, how to find the uh, quadratic formula in TI-84 plus calculator. It's, if you're persistent in, in computers a little bit, uh, you should be able to program it, but it will take you a long time. Anyways, I go to programs, I'm going to go to my formula right here. Uh, where is it? 
quadratic formula. There it is. Bam. This program gives the roots of a quadratic equation. Hmm. Can't see it very well. Uh, from ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. A is, in my case, a is equal to 6, b is equal to 13, c is equal to 5. Holy cow. And it says uh, cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 half. And cosine of theta is equal to negative four, uh, 5 thirds. For those of you that are my students, you should be able to get this formula. For uh, those of you that are not my students, I would get this. You're going to need it for physics, lots of other little uh, pre-calculus as well as calculus if you ever decide to take it. Okay? It's, it says created by John Kim. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. Okay, got it. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up for you. Um, cosine of the angle is equal to negative one half. Cosine of the angle is equal to negative five thirds. We know that the angle cannot be past negative one and be bigger than positive one. We find the angle that's referenced. So I used one half. Theta half is equal to sixty degrees. I want to make sure if it's radius or degrees. What number was this? Hmm. 34, was it 34? Yes, it was 34. 34, they want it to a tenth of a degree. Well, we don't even need to know if it's a tenth of a degree because it's an exact value. So it's going to be in degrees. Theta hat is going to be 60 degrees. So theta is going to be in quadrant 2 and 3, 180 minus 60 and 180 plus 60. That's in quadrant 2, quadrant 3. Theta is equal to um, 180 minus 160 is 120 and 240 degrees. Uh, do I want to check my work on this? What happened on uh, this problem? 34. Did I square anything? No, I didn't square anything. I don't have to check my work. You can if you want. It's a really nasty problem, so I'm not going to check my work. 34. 38. Um, where's the question? Oh, 16 cosine of 2 theta minus 18 sine squared of theta is equal to 0. Oh man, I'm at the 56 mark minute mark already. I'm going a little bit slow for you guys. Uh, be persistent on these. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but it's already been close to an hour, so I want to try to finish it up as soon as possible. Okay. Um, we know that the cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine squared minus sine squared is equal to 2 cosine squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared. What am I going to use? Since I have signs here, write these down, formulas down. That way you can see which one, which formulas to use. I'm definitely going to use this one. This has a sine squared. So notice I'm pointing to it. 16 times 1 minus 2 